So in the last video, I got a number of comments from folks who said they wanted a time lapse of the electrophoring process. So those of you who missed the last video might be a little confused at this point. Why is this man dipping a resin flamingo into a blue bath? Does that flamingo owe him money? Is that flamingo in danger? Yes, is the answer to both questions. Uh, if you missed the last video, this would be a confusing process. It is all about electroforming. I'm going to be turning a resin flamingo into a beautiful copper steampunk version of itself. And hopefully, you'll get to watch along with me. We apply electricity to this circuit that we made and copper flows from the anode and the solution onto this flamingo. It's hard to see through this liquid, but what happens with the copper is it gets really bright. Presumably, we'll start seeing a bright section here. And uh, you can see the copper wire coming down here from the top. This is the rubber piece that's holding the weight and the flamingo is actually floating out in this direction because it is just too light for anything else. So the copper should start from this point here where the wire is touching it and we should see it form all the way down to its feet from there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the solution off of it and we can take a closer look at it. Nice little copper coating on there. You can see there's a tiny little bit of conductive paint there under the beak and um, by the leg, but the rest of it coated really well. So if we left it in here for a couple hours, it would coat the entire thing. The copper layer is pretty thin but uh, you can totally polish it. It is something that is polishable. The longer you leave it in, the thicker it gets. And if you'd like to know more about this process, then I would recommend watching my previous video. I hope you enjoyed this little time lapse. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.